Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am scrapbooking this photo. Now this was the view of the ocean from our tiki hut uh, down in the Dominican Republic. And I'm going to be using some Brutus Monroe products. So I've got my underwater friends uh, stuff ready to go. I've got what I've what's left of my paper collection. Um, a couple of stencils. So Whirlpool and then also uh, the Coral Reef one. Um, and then I have the Underwater Friends stamp set. And then, of course, my aqua pigments. So let's see what I can do. Right, guys, so I am starting out with a piece of white cardstock as my background. And I'm taking the Whirlpool stencil and I am just stenciling all the way around my background so that it looks like it is just full of Whirlpools. Now, you do this by just inking up to the whirlpool edges and not continually inking so that they are on top of each other. Now I'm trying to figure out how to make this happen with my photo. Uh, so this is a photo of the Dominican Republic. We are on the beach under one of our little tiki huts that you can see in front of us. And it's just a great photo where there aren't people in the photo. <laughs> And it's the tiki huts and the beach and the little, the little tiki stuff hanging down from the top there. Uh, I just, oh man, I want to go back so bad. <laughs> so I am layering up little bits from the Utter, Underwater Friends paper pack. The Underwater Friends, that would be a whole different kind of animal. <laughs> um, so I am cutting out the red bits right here and I am kind of making that into... Um, I want to say like a decorative texturized base to the photo. And then these seashells also from the paper pack, I'm going to cut those out as well. Now the good thing about these papers is that you can use them as full sheets or they are really great for fussy cutting. Now these sheets right here, like this kind of orangey red and the swirly blue ones and yellow ones, love these papers so much. Um, I need to buy another pack uh, because I have pretty much obliterated my underwater friends paper collection and I want to use it more, right? Like I want to keep using it. Um, so I did stencil a little bit of the coral stencil just to have a little bit of extra oomph uh, behind my uh, accent decorative area over there and where my main photo is. Now I am going to take the Underwater Friends stamp set. I'm going to choose a couple of stamps and make that happen. Now I've scrapbooked other photos of us and I've used the mermaids and said oh to be a mermaid. So this time I'm going to leave the mermaids on the stamp backing sheet and I'm going to bring in the other things. So I've got a shark, um, looks like a hermit crab, sand dollar, and of course the uh, little seaweed bits. Now I adore these little seaweed bits. I think that they're perfect. Uh, there are coordinating dies to the stamp set where the dies will cut out every single little bit of the uh, things that you stamp out, um, but I don't have them. I find that these stamps are super easy to fussy cut, but if fussy cutting is not, in, not your jam, and it makes you cringe, uh, then just know that the dies are available uh, for this stamp set. Now, one thing I like to do with my aqua pigments is use an acrylic block as a palette. Um, I guess as opposed to a regular paint palette, I don't know. The acrylic block sits right there on my desk, so it seemed to be handy. Uh, plus, since I'm using a small acrylic block, I'm not going to use a whole heck of a lot of product. Um, it kind of keeps me contained in that little area so that I can only use what will fit on that tiny little block. And since I'm painting uh, these guys, these little little guys, I don't really need a whole lot of product and I'm not gonna waste anything. So I do put some green down and I'm just adding in uh, different bits of greens and uh, yellows and water so that my uh, seaweed 
uh, lines, what are they? Seaweed leaves, not seaweed lines, good grief. Um, so my seaweed leaves are a variety of colors. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the shark. Um, he's gonna have a lighter area and a darker area. Um, and I am painting both sharks. I did not paint both of the hermit crabs because I knew I only wanted to use one hermit crab on this layout. I didn't want to, um, didn't need that in my life. So now I am painting in the shark. And you guys, I am not a painter. I do not have that super ability, but I can basically use paint to color inside the lines. So if you can color inside lines, you can paint. Um, get yourself a small brush. Um, there are people that can paint these tiny little images with a big honking brush. I am not one of them. I use a smaller brush. Um, I let them dry and then I fussy cut them out. And now I am going to build my scenes. Uh, one with the photo and also uh, one over here at the top with my decorative bits. So I have a shark for each cluster. Um, the crab is only going in the bottom cluster because I want that cluster to be larger. Uh, even though the clusters are very similar with the elements that I'm putting in them, um, I don't want them to exactly mirror each other. I want the one on the bottom to be heavier. Um, so more things in it so it's weighted and it feels like, yes, this is the bottom of the page and I'm not just floating around in the ether. Um, I'm going to grab some letter stickers from my stash and we're going to call this No Sharks. And I'm going to go through some uh, tiny word stickers and put some down as well just to give it a little bit of a finishing touch. Now I felt my whirlpools were kind of woo way going out there so I did a sketchy border around the outside to contain the layout. And then that is going to do it for this layout you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a fun time. I had a great time and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.